What's up, everybody? You already know who it is. You got Wax My Tag coming back inside your eye, and I'm talking about the last episode. That's right. If you haven't already seen it, I'm talking about Felina, episode 16 of season 5, final episode of the Breaking Bad series, and all the ends are tied up. It is over, guys. If you haven't already saw it, spoiler alert, Walter White is dead. He died in the meth lab. Craziness is what ensued. And uh, from, you know, the beginning, it was a absolute thrill ride. You know, you got him out there in New Hampshire, like, you know, stealing a car to just get it going. And really, it was a, a uh, great play on words because it really was a jump start from there on out. Uh, you got to see uh, everything unfold. You got to see him go to the gray matter people right away and he you know you might think that he's gonna kill them but he's actually gonna use them to launder money to his son to his family because that's the only way that he could see fit to make it happen and that's really intelligent because it could almost just seem like a grant that was coming to him and then it was owed to him because of you know Walter's association with him uh, but you know that was a cool way to end them out I you know I would have been happy to see them get like their knees cut off but Either way, it was cool to watch, right? Then uh, you see him go in there with Skylar. He ends up making peace. You know, like Skylar's talking to Marie. She gets her final little bit of cut time. And yeah, she's like, no, Walter's never not smart enough to do that. Listen, bitch. Uh, we got Walter already in the kitchen. He's listening to all these things that you have to say. So, guys, it was just absolutely amazing. And then you just keep going through the list of awesome things. You go to uh, the, you know, congregation, you know, like my heart dropped when you saw uh, Lydia, you know, she's sitting there and then Todd, like you assume Todd's going to like pop up, but then you see Walter just chilling right there at the bar waiting. He knows. And uh, he knew that they were meeting up at a certain time on a certain place. Uh, put the ricin in the stevia, man. I cannot believe it. They alluded to it at least twice before. And as, as soon as I like, like, you know, wrap my head around it, that she put that packet in her drink, it was over. You know, really, it was it was an amazing, an amazing, like, throwback to something we've already been seeing. Uh, then, you know, we see the crescendo of the entire, like, the entire show. We we get to the, the Nazi base camp, and, you know, this is after he doesn't talk to Walt Jr., you know, like, Walt has to, you know, sacrifice that last little bit of interaction. It was a little sad. But besides that, we can move on uh, from it. And uh, we go over to the Nazi base, and Walt has been saving this M60 the entire time. Uh, he sets it up in the back of the car with this awesome idea, you know, to you know, just like spray and pray uh, upon everything. And it was a great idea because the Nazi guys were totally off put by it. Uh, they all got smashed. Todd was the only person who ducked, and then it was just you know that instinct right away. It was like, oh man. He would have ducked it, man. Like, it sucks that Todd's smart. But Jesse, he jumped on the opportunity right away. Choked him out. Did I, like, it was vindictive. It was awesome. Uh, can't believe, uh, you know, it came to that. You know, it was kind of, like, really symbolic. But, like, he used his change of oppression, you know, to kill, like, his master at the time. So you move on, and then it comes down to the last, the last scenes. And it was amazing, you know, really poetic. Because Walt's there bleeding, you know, slowly dying away you know, of his cancer as well as his wound that wasn't just a flesh wound. Uh, it was crazy that, you know, you see this eye contact between Walt and Jesse, and the only problem that I really had is you think that they would have had, you know, that real you know, exchange. They would have at least had some hate or some love or some tears, but none of that. They just looked at each other, like, looked at each other smiled, and they parted their ways. Walt walks into the meth lab, wipes his hand across the one of the uh, containment chambers and then he dies right there in the meth lab hands up beautiful like rectangular image just like the, the sky view down it was, you know an amazing end to an amazing story you know it was really impressive that they could tie it all up in an hour like I mean it's hard I could review it for an hour it was that crazy but uh, they ended the entire series, and it it's kind of disheartening because, you know, you're going to feel a little empty inside. But, you know, we got to move forward from this. Uh, maybe The Walking Dead will step their game up. <sighs> Not really, dude. It won't ever be a Breaking Bad. That's the greatest show that's of our era. You know, we're in the golden era of television because of it. So, guys, if you really like Breaking Bad, if uh, you cannot wait to watch the Saul Goodman spinoff, if you guys want to get more of the best videos on the internet, you know, you guys can rate, you can comment, you can subscribe, you can get back at it. So keep it easy, guys. Peace.